A fire has started in the building. As the fire grows and the heat reaches the sprinkler's rated temperature, the temperature sensitive device and the automatic sprinkler operates. The temperature sensitive device could be a fragile ball or a fusible link. Once the temperature sensitive device operates, either the pip cap or the seal will be displaced by air pressure. Air escapes through the activated sprinklers, causing the air pressure within the outlet chamber of the valve, the trim, and the pipes to drop. If the system is equipped with an accelerator, a sudden drop of air pressure will cause the accelerator to activate, directing air pressure from the system side or outlet side of the dry pipe valve to the intermediate chamber of the dry pipe valve. If the air supply is equipped with an air maintenance device, air will pass through the air maintenance device to the system. As pressure reduces in the outlet chamber, the differential in the valve is equalized to a point that the remaining air pressure in the system cannot hold the clapper closed. The clapper is pushed open by the incoming water supply and then securely latched out of the way. Water flows through the valve and trim piping. The water flow alarms are activated. Water flows through the system, taking the path of least resistance to the open sprinklers. Air pressure will remain trapped in the pipes that are not in the critical path to the open sprinklers. As time passes, water will displace the remaining air and the lines will fill with water. The sprinklers continue to control the fire until the fire department arrives.